All right, this is just a quick video to show my students how to do multiple series uh, for data when maybe the x coordinate is like all time, but the time are different values. Okay, so for instance, let's see I've got group A, and group A has the following data, 2 seconds and then 5, 4 seconds and then 10, 6 seconds and 15, all the way to 10 seconds. But let's say group B has values of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, but the time values are different. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And looking at group C, we've got data of 1 through 6, and then our time is 0 through 25. And then finally, all the way down here, group D, which starts at 0, 6, 3, and then has 0, 4, 8. And then there's other data that's not shown here, all the way through 12, 16. So we have four different series, all graphing based on time, okay, but their time is actually different. So how we do this then, is you put all the time values on top of each other here, okay, in the A column. So 2 through 10, 1 through 5, 0 through 25, etc. And then what you do is you record the data that corresponds to it. So for instance, group A is data 5, 10, 15, 20 through 25, and their time correlates from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Group B is data 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, but their time values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And notice what we do is we just keep listing the time values as we go down. Okay, and then likewise, group C data is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and their time correlates with 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. And these, of course, are seconds. And then lastly, your group D data, which is 0, 4, 8, 12, 14, or 16, and these are the times 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. So what you do is you keep listing their time values down in the A column, but then you I guess just to position them all the way down here where they belong next to their time values. I guess that's a good way of describing it. And that's how you do it. So I'm going to highlight all of this data. And then I'm going to insert a chart like usual. And uh, this looks like a scatter plot. You can do a line plot if you want. It really doesn't matter. Okay, and this is all the, the data here. And notice how they're color coded. This is group A's data versus time, and this is group B data versus time. So it's all nice and on there. But you got to make sure, okay, when you scroll down, okay, that you have use row as one, use row one as headers checked, and use column A as labels checked in order to get this. Okay, and that's how you get it to show up. And notice how time in versus seconds shows up on your X. Now, of course, you don't have a Y axis yet or a title to your graph. You can still go to your customize and take care of that. Okay, chart data here. Okay, we can change that uh, text for the uh, title. And I don't know, this is just random data that I picked out. So I'll just say random data for the chart title. And again, this is just an example to show you how to do this. And then, of course, we can do a vertical axis, and uh, we can call this uh, blogs. <laughs> okay, so there's your chart title. And again, this is just an example, so whatever your data is actually going to be here, uh, you can, you know, title or whatever it's going to be there. Okay, so that's just a quick uh, way to do that. Uh, the lab that you're about to do is going to uh, require that you have different, you know, temperature values and different vapor pressures, and you need to be able to graph it in this fashion.